build it by being positive and feed your mind good and optimistic thoughts only. <laughs> about the bikini bottle slushy. Despite his criminal mind, this man is behaving well. His reward is the canoe. This time he can sit in the canoe for up to an hour. That is just. I just poured. I've got it right now. Oh, it's me to jump on my fucking. No, you don't. Huh? Say Albuquerque, it. New Mexico. Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's where you're from. That's the. Hey! Hey! Oh, I just pulled your IP. 308 Negra Aurora Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's you, isn't it? No. That, I'm on Google Earth right now. I'll see a pizza on your roof. That's, that's my grandma's house. Nice try. No, what, so you're playing at your grandmother's house? You're a loser. Playing at grandma's. What, is she going to make you cookies? And Boy. Hey. Holy shit, would you look at that? Thank <laughs> you. 
They know me, they know my voice, they'll know me. Please, you gotta do a thing, I'm begging you. Please, please. I have pornography starring your mother. Shit! Bro, what are you doing? Oh, These are my shoes, bro. What's up, baby? What's your next name? Malcolm in the middle. Here. Hello, this is Sam. Hello, this is Santa. And I am here to tell you that I eat millions of cookies each year. And yet I am still not as morbidly obese as your mother. <laughs> More like mushy in the middle. Lose some weight, Heisenberg. <laughs> I've had a good chuckle over that one. I'm coming after you. <laughs> Say 
don't ask me what spurred on this little piece of advice, but do not put semen in your PC. Oh water my tube. god. And before you do me, not no, put my semen in, in your water cooling. So like duetting this until this woman permanently destroys her lungs with toxic gas. So first we got ammonia-based toilet cleaner, okay? And that's bleach better. Okay, you've made mustard gas. Which would you prefer? Oh, shit! Robert. Capitalism. That exists is owned by Obama Prism. It's still raining. Why is it still raining? I did what I was supposed to. That's not fair. As you notice, yeah. the boss had been covered in milk and breadcrumbs before you. Lots of kids. <laughs> Shall <laughs> <laughs> You know your You know your black when you keep bread in the refrigerator. Yo, what's Yo! We want some of that goddamn It's the worst emoji. It's horrendous and ugly. I hate it. The point of emojis is to show emotions. But what emotion does this show? Do you just wake up in the morning and think, Wow, I really feel like a massive fucking stone today. It's useless. I hate it. It just provokes a deep-rooted anger within me whenever I see it. I want to drive on over to the fucking Emoji headquarters and kill it. If this was the Emoji Movie, I'd push it off a fucking cliff. People just comment as if it's funny. It's not. It deserves to die. He deserves to have his smug little stone face smashed in with a hammer. Oh, Wow, it's a stone head. How fucking hilarious. I'll use it in every comment I post. No, stop it. It deserves to burn in hell. Why is it so goddamn smug? You're a fucking stone. You have no life goals. You will never accomplish anything in life apart from pissing me off. When you die, no one will mourn. I hope you die. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Attention! Savimbi, you gotta help! Right! Damn it! The fire finished him. Sometimes it's too late to save a man. Let's move out. Before we join him in death. This will all call anonymous. You call it anonymous. They know me. They know my voice. They'll know me. Please, you gotta do it for me. I'm begging you. Please. I don't like the way my skin feels on my body. Do you like the way your skin feels on your body? You don't? Why don't you pull it off? Pull off your skin. Sorry, I can't be your man. I'm sorry, she a fucking fan. It's red. Bitch. Yeah. Oh, I have a question. Ask a question. So I will. Yes. Oh, no. Do you support racism? Yeah. <laughs> 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 and you're about to see. Yeah. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's cringe. I did one that. Beautiful field of flowers. What a beautiful field of flowers. No spooky stuff today. I told you it's returned. Hello, your computer has virus. Welcome home, Master. Your ball's mighty heavy today. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Boom. Damn it.
Argent in Love. 4 horas. Ora, antes de acabar, e já foi o Maboy de um canal Twitch. Vamos aqui ao Maboy da Russian Bedia. Let's see my list. Earth Defense Force 4 is a Japanese recreation of me finding a spider in my shower. He is learning a valuable lesson about trespassing on private property. I'm gonna remind you that this is your first and only warning that there are giant spiders in this video. Oh god. Back in June of 2017, God decided that Earth was taking up too much disk space in the solar system. It chose to uninstall it by hitting Select All and his worst creations and heating them into the Earth. Okay, this is a bit much. Even for God. Codename the Ravagers, these robot alien bug lizards need business, because typically when an invader brings giant lizards and a literal genocide gun, they aren't looking god. Oh god, you're getting hit with the Thankfully, yeah. even the wrath of God is no match for the United States, I mean Earth Defense Force which usually responds to things that it doesn't understand by carpet bombing them out of existence. It's a bird, it's a plane, oh no, it's a plane. But this EDF desperately needs people to pull triggers and call out coordinates, which is where you come in, playing as guy with gun, girl with gun, that can fly, I guess, guy that has no gun, but can call his buddy that has the biggest gun. Last but not least, Try not to look him directly in the eyes. I want my part 30s, bitch! So if you'd like to see mankind attempt to uppercut God and all of his lizards that have absolutely no legal relation to the trademarked creature Godzilla, then I suggest you stick around. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have a permit to kill this nondescript lizard. Or you can close the video now and save yourself the headache, because my squad and I may be the very best that the EDF has to offer, but that's not saying much. It's morbid. <laughs> Doctor tried to give me Tylenol for a perk, so I put him in his fucking face. <laughs> this is what Europeans think American resets is like. <laughs> yeah, don't hide you. This is not a. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, man. I used to eat a lot of fucking dirt back in the day. <laughs> We're ready, fellas. <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was so perfect in time. E D F D boys. 10 second sponsor before this bomb explodes. Gamer Sips. Buy my energy drink, Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000, and use code Badger for 10% off. It's got caffeine, it's got vitamins, it's got minerals. Have you ever mistaken the end of mankind for a practical joke? This prank fucking sucks. My brother in Christ, you are witnessing our extinction. Welcome to EDF 4.1, and I hope you're comfortable because there are 89 missions to go. And all of them involve me getting shoved in the forever box by giant insects. I'm getting gaggle fucked by a billion ants over here. Yeah, this is going great. Suck my fucking dick. As fun as an 89 mission lore crusade sounds, EDF is better explained with flowcharts. Oh boy, do I ever love flow? Basically, the Ravagers, aka God, throw something at you, you blow the head off, so they throw either a shit ton more of that thing at you, a variant of that thing at you, a bigger version of that thing at you, or make you fight that thing in the dark. Yeah, giant spider's not part of it. Let's do this shit with our eyes closed. Then once I realize that thing isn't gonna kill you, bang, they throw in the next thing. Sometimes this graduation is logical. Like, oh, you beat all the ants? Well, here come the spiders, fuckface. You pulling a satellite on that one spider? Yeah. Other times, it's not. Like, oh, you beat all of our robots? Robots and lasers? Well, I hope you're ready to fight the entire dragon population of Skyrim. I don't know what's happening anymore. What the fuck is my brother in Christ? You are the dragon board. Occasionally, the Ravagers bring a glow shard and throw some random shit at you, like, uh, not a script lizard. Uh, Don Hector. Uh, what the dog do? What the dog do? It's literally dog crushing an entire metropolis. First comment. What the dog doing? But they can spam all the dipshit lagoon creatures they want because we've got something they'll never have. Discretionary spending. In case you're unfamiliar with the final boss of planet Earth known as America, we have a yearly allocation of money approved by our head mage and council of elders, informally known as Defense Department Dima Dollars. These give us the right, but not the obligation, to send any creature on our planet back to God for any reason at any time. You can't pay that shit, you dumbass! So if Ravager think they can enter American airspace without consequences, I've got 778 billion reasons why they're wrong. I'm done playing with your ass, dummy! <laughs> 
To remain more accurate, it technically is the Earth Defense Force and not the United States, but it's canonically headquartered in North America and is basically a Japanese flavored NATO. <laughs> Isn't NATO the one that drone strikes weddings? No, that's the US. That's us. But the US is part of NATO. Yes, but you can't just blame NATO. I can't believe NATO would do something like that. U.S. EDF Kawaii NATO, whatever your preferred pronoun is for the exterminators, we're the ones with the discretionary spending, and I'm about to blow 99% of it on napalm. We're just in the end of a Marlboro right now. This is what goes on inside of a Marlboro cigarette to deliver you maximum fucking flavor. 825 weapons across four different classes are at your disposal, and you can rest assured that 825 of them are fucking stupid. <laughs> Oh, what? Did you just fucking damage me? I just leveled yeah. half this building. <laughs> this is the dumbest fucking weapon on this planet. <laughs> Before picking your stupid weapon, pick your stupid class. Ranger is stupid stupid, wing diver is weird stupid, air raider is stupid, overpowered, and fencer is... Yeah. Do not look him in the eye. Every class is a solid pick because the one stupid thing they all have in common is that they're all stupid fun. <laughs> Se dá para escolher para a gente fazer stream dele. E yeah, ele tem razão, este jogo é. Tem que coisa coisa, uma coisa, uma variação em frente dessa coisa e tudo mais. That's not actually a laser, that's just a big ass physics gun from Gary's. <laughs> <laughs> Ranger is Babby's first EDF class that's essentially man with gun. So if you greet household pests with a barrel of a cage, this guy is a no-brainer. Captain Snyder in the air, watch this. Forced to use a rocket launcher if you're playing on any difficulty higher than journalist. And the reason why is simple. S to the C to the A L E because the Ravagers have been here all of five minutes and they've already smoked half of the human race. <laughs> That's not hyperbole, that's canon. Human race has been destroyed. You've got to remember how big and how many of these things there are. For the majority of the game, you can close your eyes while shooting and suffer zero decrease in accuracy. Why the fuck did the EDF even have a crosshair? I don't need this shit. You're facing a mountain of insects every mission, and you move mountains with Firepower, shotgun, black range, sniper rifles, lack rate of fire. And before one of you smart asses says missiles are superior to rockets, they're not. I'm getting my gun punched by a fighter every second of every round. I don't have 20 minutes to lock onto a target and another 20 to wait for an explosion. I need that shit low tier god now. I might get it, I might get it, I might get it, I might get it, I might get it. Come on, oh I got it, I got it, you fuck, don't kill that guy. Sir, sir, sir. So if you want to play Ranger, you've got to be a Rocket Man. There are just too many fucking bugs for you to use anything else. Oh, Here is the guy at my fucking limit. <laughs> Stop spawning one. Ranger Shotgun Secondary is a wise choice because there is a range where rocket launchers should not be deployed. Not far enough. You can get away with using a grenade launcher like the Splash or Stampede, blasting 30 frags per shot, but the odds of you clearing a mission without killing everyone, including yourself, is virtually zero. Let me see how this works. I can a Oh my god. god. You can be ahead of me all you want. Be my fucking. I'm not swinging! Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, they all came back. I don't even know where to go now. I'm. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Wing divers are a special forces unit comprised entirely of fictional creatures called women, specifically designed as against giant creatures, which is why they spend all of their time getting yeah. killed by giant creatures. Apart from an arsenal based on jack and all points, Wing Diver has a massive movement advantage over Ranger that she uses exclusively to get stuck in spider web. And that's okay. Yeah. It's nothing that a direct impact from an M202 flash can't fix. Ranger's moves away. If you can avoid playing like an MP, ability and firepower to vaporize every last bug on this planet, y'all, ye. Because it looks like all women, her armor scaling sucks, so if you don't meticulously manage your ever-depleting energy levels, the insects are gonna snap you in half like a Ritz cracker. She also gets bonus points for her rollerblades and quirky weapons. Yo, I can take out a whole bunch if you pick me up. Oh my god, it's what my gun does. Air Raider is the only class that can be played on the highest difficulty while eating a bag of Doritos. And I mean that literally. I love 
love Ranger, I love Wing Diver, but Air Raider is something else. That is like the ultimate form of Spawn King. <laughs> What's like Q-tips are designed for your ears, Air Raiders aren't designed for damage, but in both cases, I don't care. If you want me to play a support class as a support class, then don't give me a Tomahawk cruise missile as a primary weapon. Where is that missile? Is it coming? <laughs> Theoretically, Air Raider is designed to have a vehicle spawn, helpful support item, and sticky bomb launcher for emergency self-defense. But again, I don't care what it's designed to do, I care about what it can do. I gamble away all of my personal safety in close quarters so that I can triple up on items specifically designed to put stadium-sized craters into the earth. That should help. This should help a lot. <laughs> And besides, there's no written rule anywhere that I can't use a Hammer of Dawn at point-blank range. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I will use this as a close quarters weapon. I'm not scared. These weapons are so catastrophically fucking powerful. It is nothing sort of an insult to call Air Raider a support class. I'm not here to support the violence. I am the violence. My friends, we're playing a support class. Hey, I think I hit it. I hit it. Just oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! I almost just FPS rushed myself with that spider. <laughs> Yo! But can I say FPS rush? Um. Quase toda a gente está aqui, pelo menos já deve ter ouvido falar da história dele. Ele ficou famoso por um vídeo que ele fez. Que ele usou uns explosivos. Que são vendidos ao público. Chamado Tannerite. Que para quem tem licença pode usar. É vendido a eles. E ele basicamente deixou um carro com aquilo. O que é que ele fez? Ele disparou contra o carro. O que fez ignição na tenora. E a porta do carro. Saiu disparado na direção dele. Foi um. Porque ela passou ao lado dele. Mas se ela tivesse acertado ela estava a carro. No matter if it's carbon bombs, orbital lasers, or Tomahawk cruise missiles, there's so much damage to be done over such a wide area that the hardest part is not killing all of your teammates and yourself. All right, I got some. No, no, no. The beam, the beam, the beam! No, the beam. Oh, oh shit! Why are they already here? Oh, trust me, they're not gonna- Oh, you blocked my throw, Stretchy. Oh, I no. want you to know oh, what no. you've done. We oh, can't no. even escape it now. It's already here. Oh, oh, my airstrike. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, oh god! Skulker, please stop strafing in my way. That's a laser. You're gonna- Skulker, I don't even- oh. This brawn is amplified when you combine it with brains. I'm more than happy to show these dipshit insects what that looks like. Because the difference between having 200,000 neurons in your brain and 86 billion neurons in your brain is an airborne flamethrower that even physics is pissed off about. We are learning a valuable lesson about gravity today. I'm not done abusing this chasm of an intelligence gap either. Because if you think a flamethrowing helicopter is cruel, just wait until it's trapped. Any high caliber turrets onto my rotors and a clever maneuver called engineering. <laughs> okay, this should work. Yeah, I'm starting with one. Oh, oh two. my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. This is tax. This is tax. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, this is working God. perfectly. This is working perfectly. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh shit! Oh. <laughs> but the best feature of Air Raider is not his helicopters or his airstrikes or even his orbital laser that can make any crap enemy dance like a stick bug. <laughs> you can make what was that? <laughs> it feels like that stick bug dancing. <laughs> that stick bug. What the? <laughs> Look at this shit. 
He disappears! <laughs> it's the Gundam, which they call a Balam, but we're punching nondescript Japanese lizards in the face here. It's a Gundam. Uh-oh, it's going oh, Super Saiyan! Uh-oh, it's going nondescript power-up. You can spawn this thing non-stop if you kill enough baddies, and I'm not gonna say it's better than Erginus, which is their name for the giant lizard. Damn, he hit me once, and I lost two-thirds of my health. Oh god, oh god. Not all of my health just fucking disappeared. Oh my god. Oh my god. That shuttle looking stick robot does not do this good. That lizard took you. one sip of the McDonald's Sprite and I was done. But it's your best shot. Dang. He is oversized with water or flat on his ass. And apart from skipping the knockdown animation by spamming the taunt animation, this thing is completely self explanatory. Accelerate your mass to maximize the force of the impact. Just punch him in the face. I remember God the permission to say that I killed the trademarked creature Godzilla, but there were several hundred reptiles harmed in the making of this video. The only thing stronger than this monster is Japanese copyright lawyers. Harry God, they are fucking vicious. Right there. The the punching of the surgeon. Oh, I land a <laughs> combo. He hits one haymaker and I just fucking die. No, the McDonald's Sprite. It's a fuck of my combo. <laughs> Look at this shit. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Oh, oh, are you ready? <laughs> Just fat bitch, it's lying on the ice. And how could I forget the fourth and final clap? <laughs> Spencer is just ridiculous, and we just got done with Air Raider, who makes Dick Cheney seem like a nice guy, so I don't even know where to start with him. Literally a Gundam with two box cutters that's <laughs> coming up against the entirety of the insects in Florida. He's supposed to be the heavy class with extreme firepower and jacked armor at the expense of turtle slow movement speed? There might be some civilian casualties, but that's a sacrifice I am willing to make. But by exploiting his dash cancel mechanic, you can make him the fastest class in the game. If done correctly, even Wing Diver can't keep up with him. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think heavy classes are supposed to work this way. Which means he's super tanky, super powerful, super fast, and he's got twice as many weapons as everybody else but Air Race. This guy even specializes in melee combat. I don't know who the fuck sees giant insects swarming a city and says to themselves, Oh boy, I better grab my hammer. How bunga it is. The Vulcan hammer is like a nuclear bomb on a stick. You have failed the vibe check. Just don't God. Plan, because mm. shifting space all around to maximize his wave dash gives me arthritis, so I leave that shit to Heavenly or her Boku. They both had fencers so power leveled that inviting them to my party was like typing SV underscore cheats one into console. Yo, if aliens are real. I was about to ask you, is that good? <laughs> <laughs> all right, get your glasses ready. <laughs> Should hit it. Oh my goodness, big scar. Stop, stop. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, oh no. I am just crossing my fingers. <laughs> oh, I win. Nope. Oh, the risk of that really weapon good. is not friendly fire, it's that it will crash your game to desktop. <laughs> For a second there, Herboku, I became that meme of that dude sitting in a fast food restaurant just glowing <laughs> orange. <laughs> no matter the class you choose, progression is the same. And grind doesn't even begin to describe it. Right. Each class is entirely separate, so leveling up one does absolutely nothing to another. And you don't level up per se, you just get better shit. Picking up red crates increases your armor stat. Picking up green crates gives you a random weapon. Tutorial complete. It's a grind, but it's a fun grind. Because the more you build your armor and weapon stack, the more you can play on higher difficulties. <laughs> And the top tier weapons you earn later on are 100% worth the effort. Every class has at least something outrageous. The rule of God is incoming. <laughs> What's the blast radius on this bitch? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's. That's <laughs> 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 the <blast> radius <laughs> is yes. <laughs> <laughs> Making it to the end of the campaign will grant you the honor of killing God, or at least blowing up his brain, in a level that consists of every laser ever created being beamed into your eyes.
Don't bother trying to understand it because I fully comprehend every bit of the story and that shit doesn't add up. Hey, we got the queen. It's like, uh, did you get the queen or a queen? Good thing it doesn't matter because EDF 4.1, the shadow of new despair is one of the greatest arcade games I've ever played. It's worth the 20 demon dollars and playing it with my friends made it downright unforgettable. <laughs> Read Me and the remodeled McDonald's adding select all ingredients to my burger. <laughs> <laughs> what about that mother motherfucker 43? Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, the ultimate trait in a sniper rifle, a clear lack of accuracy threats. <laughs> <laughs> when you should have said that, my boy. <laughs> I've seen an entire cluster of ants move a rock before. Not a big rock, but like a decent sized pebble. Like I saw them pick up Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> Before I go, shout out to Always Has Been and Ludex for making the kick-ass map that you saw in this video, Magic for helping me fix some of the bones on some of the models, and most of all, you. Shout out you for letting me borrow your eyeballs for 20 minutes. But if you want to do me a super, super big solid, please buy some Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. It is a real energy drink, it's not a joke, and it happens to be the greatest energy drink in the universe. But don't buy it for that reason. Buy it because I make money off of it, and I always need more more money. Do it for that reason and do it for me. After watching that back for a second, I kind of sounded like a psychopath for a split second there, but don't worry about it. That's not really me. Shit, it could be. I don't know. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Isto é o Russian Badger a fazer que eu comprou um mocap suit de... Aproximadamente 30 mil dólares. Por isso é que os vídeos dele são tipo um de muito longe a Porque. E aí ele faz uh, o que se comou o cap. E depois disso custa, demora bastante tempo. Tenho a parte, os vídeos são praticamente todos no mesmo dia. São tudo praticamente no mesmo dia, mas. Não é fácil, digo-vos já. Eu vou começar a fazer do género coisas assim do género tipo assistir a vídeos com vocês e tudo mais para se quiserem perguntar qualquer cena sentirem-se à vontade a stream vai ficar por aqui que ela já está mais longa que sei lá o que se quiserem fazer perguntas sentam-se à vontade que eu vou aqui Efetuar um raid E eu mando mais Que é o Moraes HD Que é um moço do caraças Que eu já me deve ter agradecido pelo, pelo raid Mas como o Twitch não está a querer ir se acho que qualquer dia leva uma tareia bro Rica Beda, sim senhor. Sim senhor. Sim. Que rica Beda. Pessoas a trabalhar. Sim. Pessoas a trabalhar no Douro. E outros aqui na praia a apanhar sol. E eu trabalho. <risos> Trabalhar o bronze, não é? Tenho direito a férias como tu. É, é. Esta a férias todos os dias, não é? Ah, pá, vai a tudo. Sou... <risos> este gajo é tão paro. Ai, o caralho, mano. Foda-se. Mas que é que eu vou dizer? André Noca, obrigado pelo raid. Grande abraço, pá. Bimop, obrigado pelos 5 meses. E F Costa, pá, sem, sem palavras. Obrigado. Eu, pai, 
Entretanto, está sempre ali no limiar entre sou bem engraçado e vou levar uma chapadona nos cornos. <risos> Tem a gente que está a no amigo. Preciso ter-se uma falta de nutrição, meu Deus. Ah, estás a trabalhar agora também? Mas que rica vida, meu Deus, a sério. Mas que maravilha. Eu só queria... Não, Epá, isto está um boi cringe, mano. Eu não consigo ver Ai, o caralho. É ter a tua vida, meu. Aqui refastelado na toalha, meu. Hã? Fica a vida. Pá, para quem pode. Para quem pode, não é? Pessoas na guerra a morrer e tu aqui na toalha. Sentes-te bem com isso, meu? Espera aí, mas eu tenho que rolar aqui. Sentes-te bem, a sério? Sentes-te bem, eu trabalho. Pessoas na guerra a morrer, meu. Sim. O que é que queres agora? Trabalhas. Eu trabalho. Trabalhas. Trabalho. Isto é trabalhar. Sim, não tem direito a férias. Pessoas a trabalhar no Sim, Douro e outros aqui na toalha a apanhar sol. Só queria era ter a tua vida, meu. É o que eu te digo. Há pessoas com sorte, meu, não é? Ó, 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 ó. Muita sorte, meu. Dá jantar já, Barbosa. Obrigado. Então, eu disse. Foi há bocado estávamos no sapalhão e jantei. Pois é, pois é. Mano, eu estou bem desconfortável. Oh, preguiçoso. Vai, mas é trabalhar, pá. Tem que correr. Preguiçoso. Vai, mas é trabalhar, pá. Só vejo pessoas a passear. Ai, mãe, o que é que eu fico? Guys, nunca se metam com o pessoal desta geração. Eles têm outros valores, está bem? E aí, este gajo é... Não, só vou dar uma arma. Tá, que tem mais só para o ano, é fora. Olá, Ana Teresa, como estás? Ai, minha mãe, nossa senhora. Vou ficar lá um bocado. Se fosse o meu pai, o meu pai nem pergunta, parte logo para cima. O pai é maluco, mano. Espera, tu és a barba ou não sei quem que estou a falar? Eu só vejo pessoas a passear. Isto aqui é a terra dos mandriões, ninguém faz nada. É só passear e conversar, não é? É para o questão. É, pois é. E trabalhar? Hã? Já nada, tá zero. Já trabalhámos quase 40 e... 40 e quase 50 anos. Devem ter trabalhado Porque muito. Devem ter trabalhado Está muito. Bem, Devem ter trabalhado muito. Sim, senhor. Trabalhar... Só há uma coisa. Trabalhar ninguém trabalha. Só há uma coisa. Eu já trabalhei muito para o outro. Deve... Agora Deve... trabalho os mais novos para Deve ter trabalhado. Muito bem. Deve ter trabalhado muito. Posso dizer que trabalhei quase 50 anos. Tenho de guerra quase 4 anos. Oi. Deve ter trabalhado muito. Só, só passear, é só passear. Só passear. Ai, o caralho, mano. Lava mal. Tá vendo? Olá, Achas que isto é trabalho, meu? Perdão? Achas que isto é trabalho, não meu? Não sei. Mas não é trabalho, eu meu? Eu tenho um pub no Brasil. Isto é diversão, é. meu. Não é? Vai, mas é trabalhar, meu. É trabalho. Vai, mas é trabalhar. Ai, meu Deus. Pierre, tá, está... É que ele já está a pisar aquela linha do, do ser xenófobo. Estão a perceber? Ah, não estás aqui com guitarrinhas, meu. E com musiquinhas, meu. Vai, mas é trabalhar, meu. Ouviste agora? Ouviste? Trabalhar. Bonito, cabrão! Olha para isto! Ninguém trabalha, meu! Está ali todo fodido! Na merda! Ainda tem que estar a ouvir um gajo a dizer que ele não está a trabalhar! Que puta de cromo! És o primeiro gajo que eu vejo hoje a trabalhar, sabes? E ficas surpreendido? És o primeiro gajo que eu vejo a trabalhar. Pô, anda tudo aí a viver uma rica vida muito boa. Sim, senhor. Trabalhar, ninguém quer trabalhar. E ele não trabalha. Andas a viver bem, não? Quem é? 
Pronto. Chapéuzinho de marca. Chapéuzinho de marca. Relógio dos bons. É, é, pois, e então, e não, não pode ser. Andas a viver bem, não é? Mas desculpa lá, não estou com isso aqui. Alcoolinhos de marca, é, tudo de lá, marca, lá, tudo lá, de marca, polinha de marca. Lá, lá, andas a viver bem. É, mas já andas a viver mas muito que bem, meu. Mas estás a falar, estás a ganhar. Andas a viver a demasiado comigo, bem, ó. Oh. Chapéuzinho de marca, tudo comigo, de marca. O que é? Estás a entrar comigo, o que é? Estás a entrar comigo, não estou a perceber, não sei quem é. Quanto é que custou esse chapéu? 5 euros. 5 euros. Ai, 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 ai. É para ele. Andas a viver bem, tu? Quem é? Quem é este, Todo bem vestido, sim senhor. Sim senhor. Até não conhece e cumprimentam. É 